Hello, I'm Carol Spencer. Uh, I'm one of the many volunteers who've come to the uh, Olympics to help out. Uh, we're having a wonderful time. There's a great atmosphere here. The athletes are really enjoying it and so are all we. We're having a lovely time. Everybody's friendly and it's nice to speak to folks all the time. Oh, the energy is fantastic. They're, the participants are actually loving it. And it doesn't matter what you do for them, they're so grateful. And it's such a lovely atmosphere. Even if they don't even get a score on the board, they're quite happy because they're being here and, and taking part. We're having a wonderful time. Everybody's getting on fine, you know, and uh, the energy is great. I go home shattered, but it's a lovely shattered. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm from Southampton Day Services from Southampton. I've come here today with 12 athletes. We've been here for a week. Um, we've got people um, competing in the MATP, a client called Stacey Morse. Um, she has done two, three competitions already. Um, she has done ball kick, bean bags, and oh god, I forgot the other one. Oh, and bat and ball. Um, she's got two gold medals and a bronze so far. She's done really well. I'm the head coach for MATP. Uh, we set it up two years ago at Southampton Day Services. Um, one throughout the day on a Thursday um, and one in the evening so they can come out and integrate into the community. And it's not people from just Southampton Day Services, it's out of Southampton Day Services, which we have about eight service users at the moment. So, Rosemary, can you tell us a little bit of information about what MATP is? Because a lot of people don't know. MATP is for the less abled, more severely disabled people, and it gives them a chance to work out and achieve a better, what's the word, um, achievement of what we like to aim for them to be able to do. This is with people with complex needs. Um, and it is really good that you know they have got this sport for them because it's teaching their basic skills um, through a sport. So doing it through a sport will actually, in the end, be able, they'll be able to start feeding themselves because they can hit a bat and ball. So they'll be gripping onto things with their motor skills and everything else. So in the end, they'll be able to use their basic skills in everyday living. Um, there's been laid on softball games, um, trying to roll on a mat or on the big cushion, rolling over a, um, a big rolled cushion. Um, they've been temping or like temping bowling or skittles, uh, bat and ball games. I'm not sure what else they've been doing. But... I am David Gillespie, uh, head coach for Badminton, Scotland West region. And this is Diane Gillen, a badminton athlete. Hi, I've been playing I've been playing quite good as well. Didn't I? You've been, been playing marvellous. Uh, today was the first day that you played your singles round against Hazel from Northway. What region is she from? Um, I think it's Northwest. Northwest, and you've, this is the first time you've beaten her in four years. Aye. Yeah. So that was a major achievement today. Yeah. Indeed, a major achievement. Four years you've been chasing that. Well done. Aye. So are you looking at winning any medals? Aye, three. Just hoping to win three medals. Um, it could range from gold to bronze, but quite, quite confident you'll get possibly one of each of them, or uh, maybe two silvers and a gold. So how, how long do you have to wait before you know? Really until Friday. That's uh, some finals will be on Thursday. Some finals will be on Friday. Uh, okay. the, the badminton scoring system is quite intricate at times, uh, particularly when they play in pools. So uh, sometimes it goes to account back on all the way down to points. So we we'll have to wait till the very end to, to know how that's going. Cool. Well, Diana, wish you all the best. Hope you win lots of medals. Aye, thanks. Okay, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you.
Lester. This is Cameron Rawson here from Scotland West. I've got a great chance to win gold in the men's singles and mixed doubles. Keep going. You'll see if you stay in shot. Grant's my teammate. He can win the he can win the same final as me. Me, me and Grant Hunter can win the same final. So how long how long how long have you been playing badminton? Uh seven or eight years. It's actually not a play any sport really. I've known Cameron for about uh, four years now. Um, previously he's been involved with the basketball and I've coached him onto the, the badminton squad. And uh, he's a tremendous badminton player. Uh, and he's an inspiration to all the other athletes as well. They're aspiring to get to that level. And he's actually brought them uh, and their ability levels up quite considerably. I'd just like to say a great big thank you to all volunteers who served at this Olympics because it's a special event and without them it just couldn't be run. So thanks very much to everybody involved. Can I say something to my family and friends? Thanks Mum, hope you're watching and love you loads. And then one more for the volunteers. All staff members. Thank you Kate Ward for being there for everything. Brilliant. Good for it. Thanks to all the volunteers. I've been really nice and I enjoyed meeting them. Excellent. And a very, very, very special thanks to all the athletes who took part because it's been absolutely incredible and they have been a joy to be with and we hope to be with them again many, many times in the future. Congratulations to everyone who took part in any sport. Well done to the athletes! Oh, brilliant. <laughs> you guys are doing really bad. <laughs>
really surprised at how good the technique is and the tenacity of the athletes as well. They're really, really a little bit aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. And the fact that, you know, and at the end they smile and come and shake your hand, that's, just, that's the best part. Well, that's, that's the whole part of judo, you know, the sportsmanship. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose, you, you still take your bow, you still shake hands. And uh, that's all part of the discipline of the sport as well. Yeah, excellent. How's the atmosphere been like with all the fans? The atmosphere's been brilliant. The kids are loving it. The parents love it. And, um, you know, because sometimes the parents of these children with special needs sometimes think they're on their own. They're the only person that has a child with those special needs. And they come here and they get to mix with many, many other parents that have similar experiences. Brilliant stuff.